Hey folks, um, just a bit of an update and a um, little, a slight how-to. Okay, uh, I was I've been messing with uh, uh, some deer hair recently. Uh, this, um, show you, it's a print of a paintbrush. Uh, not anything fancy. It's not perfect. And on on and uh, not in all honesty. Oh, he is junk, but, you know, we'll see. I'm going to be playing with it in a little bit with uh, some charcoal and see if I can't get anything done. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll have that. Okay, so first and foremost, I get a little bit of ready. Because you want to be able to have your... binding it ready as soon as you get ready to pop it in. Right. So, okay, you know, that will be good. That's really all we need. Alright, so, let's get this tick split and the uh, hair in and we will get right back to the construction of the primitive paintbrush. Alright. First we need to cut the, its length. So this is again bush honeysuckle. I use this for uh, basic species for almost everything now. Good cut. Alright. Alright, so, I accidentally did this off camera, but it work, it's, work, still works. All you need to do is get it right into the pith, smack it down pretty good, and you got your split. Sorry, there you go. Now, with deer hair, You won't be able to get all that. I mean, there's going to be some pieces that are so short that you'll get out. But, you know, it is what it is. And the best thing you can do is actually bind it up already. Mine's not bound up yet. I am going to do that right now. So, so like most other guys, he's my, he's my own saliva. It's just to keep it all together. There's no real need for this. You can just stick it in. Just stick as is, but this is a kind of a bit of a draw at Cahokia. Some folks really liked what I was doing here. It actually looks like a paintbrush. Alrighty, so. 
Apparently he just opened the slip. Well, this. Alright, where is he? Oh, the hand. Oh, there is. He fell. Alright, so. All you do is just get in a little bit more. Probably a little too much right now. But, there you go. Now, more than you. Now he just buy it like he was a um, marriott or something. Just wrap it. Ugh. Like I said, this is a bit of a dry cook. Yeah, some people really like this. Uh, and that went great, by the way. Um, got invited to go to a uh, rapid stick. I mean, I still gotta pay my own way, but, you know. Oh well. At least I have a ride to and from. Which is awesome. Uh, it's with Larry Kinsella. He, uh, he's Mr. Megalithics here on YouTube. If you don't know who he is. If you don't know who he is, you've been li living under a rock. Look again. There we go. Right there. I'm adding in more sinew to get a, try to get above the crack so that it doesn't get worse. I didn't feel good. Hmm. Choose it wrong and tooth hurt. Oh well. Alright. Um, I also may have my first student ever, which is kind of cool. She wants to learn dry scrape. Because the white scrape's not working out so well for her and. Not like me, she has somebody that can teach her. She doesn't live that far away from what I can get, from what I gather, but offered to ha ha have her help me at my time next month. There you go. So I can get a little bit. <laughs> semi-knowledgeable semi hands to help and that she gets some experience with the actual scraping and there we go finished 
paleo paintbrush. I'm hoping to get some uh, pigments so I can work with it, but we'll see. Uh, have fun, play hard, and I'll see you in the woods.